my name is Will and welcome back to Play the Game Central. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to complete the series of steps quest in Zetsubu no Shima. Now, before anything happens, you need to make sure at least one player in your lobby is using the Anywhere But Here Gobblegum. So the first thing you need to do is find out your challenges and get started on them as soon as possible, as their completion is needed later on in the quest. So get these done ASAP. To find out what your challenges are, head to the Temple Ruins and look at an illuminated obelisk to show you. Each symboled layer of the obelisk will show you a new challenge. You will have three to complete. And again, get these done as soon as possible while you're doing these other steps. Also for the quest, you will need to have the KT4 and have it upgraded for the final parts. But you can do the process of getting the KT4 while doing the other steps. You will also need the Skull of Nansapwe and all of the challenges complete in order to upgrade the KT4. But for the sake of organization in this guide, here is how to get the KT4 and upgrade it in one section. So for the first part, you need to be on a spider round. Go to lab A and lower the cage from the upper room. Then go down to the cage and lure a spider into it. Once a spider's trapped, bring the cage back up to the machine and then the machine will extract the spider serum. Simply take it from the machine when it's done. After round 6 onwards, a random zombie around the lab B area will spawn holding a glowing green test tube. Kill the zombie to pick up the test tube from its corpse, and you'll have your second part. For the third part, you need to open up the mule kick door in the bunker laboratories. Then you need to swim through the flooded mine and down to the cave. At the bottom of the cave tunnel, you will find the plant. Now pick it up and swim back up to the laboratory. Once you have all three ingredients, take it to the workbench over here to inject the ammunition into the weapon, and then pick it up once it's all finished. And there is the KT-4. Now once you have the KT-4, you can begin to upgrade it. For the first part you can get is the spider tooth from the giant spider. Head to the back of lap A and use the KT-4 to melt the spider web covering the cave entrance by the blue water source. Inside the cave, you will find the giant spider and you will need to take it down. It takes a lot of damage to bring lots of firepower. It will shoot webs and stab at you with its legs. It also drops off loads of the mini spiders. So watch out for your shins. Keep pushing and shooting and eventually you'll take it down. Once it's dead, interact with its head and you will see one of its teeth disappear. For the upgrade parts, you do not get any indication on screen that you've picked anything up. You have to actually look at the object. Now for this part, you will need to have every player in the lobby have all three of their challenges completed and the zombie shield constructed. For a guide on how to build the zombie shield, check the video description. Once all challenges are done, the centre altar at the temple will be hit with lightning occasionally from then onwards. You will need to be on the altar and have your zombie shield out while the lightning strikes in order to electrify the shield. Now go to lab B and hit the cage panel here with your electric shield. It will now open up and allow you to go inside the cage. If you're playing on co-op, you will need your partner to lower you down manually, but if on solo, this will happen automatically. Hold the interaction button to pick up an item attached to the upright skeleton. Again, you are not notified if you pick up these parts, so if you can't see any object on the upright skeleton, you've probably picked it up. Once you're sure you've got it, have your partner raise you back up to the lab to continue onwards. For the next upgrade part, you will need the rainbow water and a seed. To get the rainbow water, you will need to keep taking the sewer pipe shortcut and hold the interaction button in the blue areas of the pipe. If you get it right, it will fill your bucket up with rainbow water. This might take a few tries as it's very hit and miss. Once you have rainbow water, swim back down to where you found the KT4 plant and now you need to use the skull of Nansapwe's memorizability on the flat wall just to the right of where the plant was. Doing so will reveal the hidden seed planter. Plant a seed in this spot and water it for three rounds with the rainbow water. Once the plant is fully grown, simply harvest it. Now that you have all three upgrade ingredients, take them to the table at the very end of the bunker laboratory and you can finally upgrade your KT4 and receive the Mazamun. Now to get the Skull of Nansapwe, the specialist weapon in Zetsubu no Shima. To get the Skull of Nansapwe, you will need to cleanse the four skulls at the ancient temple. Simply grab a skull from the temple and take it to the corresponding altar with the matching symbol. There is an altar in the spawn area near the plane wreckage, at the docks, and in the bunker laboratory. Place down the correct skull and defend it while it cleanses. Once done, take it back up to the temple and do the next one. Once all the skulls are done, the temple will now give you access to the crypt. Head down the stairs and interact with the skull in the center of the room. Doing so will lock you in and you will need to kill the keepers that spawn in to charge the skull. Once all the keepers are dead and the skull is charged, you can now pick it up and use the skull. 
Go down to the living quarters in the bunker and to the room where you can find the purple water. In here, use the skull's mesmerized power on the poster to reveal the lower half of the image. Then go back upstairs and memorize the wall on the left to the elevator to reveal a maintenance passage. In here, you will find a machine that you will have to fix with three cogs. For one of the three cogs, you will need to shoot down this plane. And to do that, you will need to have the KT-4 and a seed. Plant a seed and water it with blue water for three rounds. After you water it each time, you must shoot it with the KT-4. And if done correctly, it will have small green particles floating from it. Blue water and KT-4 infusion can give you multiple different outcomes. But the one you need from this is the artillery shell. So just to be safe, it's a good idea to plant multiple seeds during this part in order to maximize your chances. Once you finally get your shell from a harvest, take it to the artillery platform and load it into the gun. The gun will make a clunky noise if done correctly. Now you need to shoot down that plane as it comes near the facility, and when it's in line with the gun barrel. If you miss the plane, you will have to collect another shell from another plant, so make sure you time your shot correctly. If you hit the plane successfully, the cog will fall down onto the map somewhere and you'll need to find it. The cog will have smoke coming from it, which will make it a little bit easier to find. This particular one fell down by the meteorite. The next cog can be found at the docks and can be a little tricky. To complete this part, you need to make sure everybody in the lobby has had their challenges completed. You need to electrify the shield again and take it to the zip line. One person has to hit the box at the top of the zip line with the electric shield to electrify the wire and then use it, while the other player has to hit the box at the bottom of the zip line with the electric shield just as they are over the docks in order to drop them down safely and be able to collect the cog that is on the decking. If a player gets dropped down too early and land in the water, they will die and lose all their stuff, so be careful. The last cog is probably the easiest. All you need to do is have a player use the Anywhere But Here gobblegum inside the spider cave, and it will teleport you to the secret room above lab A. In here, you can find a cog on the floor as shown on screen. Once you have all three cog parts, you can now fix the machine behind the elevator and head down to the prison cells. At this point, you will need the upgraded KT-4 and be set up with your weapons and perks. It's also recommended that you take a gas mask with you. A guide to do just that is in the description also below. When you are ready, activate the elevator, and once down, you need to shoot the glowing roots with the Mazamoon and enter the prison block. Inside the prison block, spiders and thrashers will spawn frequently en masse, but they are not your mission. You need to destroy the abomination in the prison cell, of course while battling the thrashers and spiders. The abomination's roots will come out and smash down in the area. When it does this, you need to shoot the glowing parts of the roots that are coming out of the cage when they expose themselves. After shooting all four of the abomination's roots, it will be destroyed and you will have completed the quest. Upon completion of the quest, all players in the lobby will be awarded all of the perks on the map until the game ends or they die. So guys, if you appreciated our guide, please leave a like on this video and of course, subscribe to Play the Game Central for more high quality gaming guides. It's been a pleasure. Cheers guys. Ta-da.